vertical bandsaw. Down and dirty basics of a vertical bandsaw. All right, first thing you want to do when you're coming over here is make sure that this knob is unlocked. See, that was locked. Now I can move the guide and the part that protects the blade in here and the bearings up and down. So this is going to protect your finger, okay? I should say fingers. So you always want to bring that about a quarter inch above your material. You'll find sometimes that it gets in the way and you may have to raise it a little bit more. Let me know so I can check it first. So I'm going to have that about a quarter inch above the blade. Lock that off so it doesn't move. And then I can make a cut. Now if I'm needing to make a straight cut on this, And this is a really small piece. I'll just, here, I'll do this first. That's got a half inch blade on it. You can only cut at an angle to a certain point with the half inch blade because it's so thick. If you try to cut a sharper angle, you're going to start bending the blade. And you'll see it start to move. If you put too much pressure on that blade, not only will it bend it, it will snap inside here and it will scare the you know what out of Esther. Okay? We don't want that. We don't want it. We don't want this because that's approximately $30 a blade. And we don't want that. Alright, so I'm just going to show you real quick the angle that you want to cut at with this blade. able to go tighter, but at no point did that blade move from center, okay? Now, if you want to make tighter cuts, later on I'll demonstrate how you do little cuts into the radius and you can go tighter and tighter and tighter. But that's a whole other lesson. So that's just the basics right here of just that cut. When you are going, thank you, when you are going to go and use the fence, you can bring the fence over. And you see that's too small, so that's going to get blocked because you're going to need to have your push stick here and the push stick's going to get blocked. Alright, so just like the table saw, you're going to need to use the push stick so your fingers don't get close as you're running the wood through. Does that make sense? When you're done with the band saw, you need to take a brush, not your hands, you go ahead and unlock this, bring that up, and brush this all off and vacuum around it. At the end of class, definitely someone's going to need to open this up, look inside, and vacuum this all off. And most of the machine people have to do that. But your responsibility afterwards is to clean that. And I almost forgot. V-groove bit. V not V-groove bit, but V-groove block here is used to cut cylindrical stock. Anytime you have to cut something that is a cylinder, to give you an idea, if anyone knows what a dowel is, a wood dowel, you know, it's round and long, okay, wow. cylindrical. Dowel, Maybe something off of the wood lathe. Or something off the wood lathe that's become a cylinder. You need to put it into the V groove. Why? Why might we want to do that? It levels it up. Yeah, so it doesn't spin on you. Because if you have something in rotation and you have something round, the thing in rotation wants to make that round thing move. So you're going to put the V, the v groove here and hold the cylindrical stock and then cut that so that this cylinder doesn't spin in your hands, okay? I guarantee you that's on your safety test. All right, that's the basics of the vertical bandsaw. You don't have to make any other adjustments. You always want to make sure, though, that the table is at 90 degrees to the blade for what you're doing to start with, all right?